We are out on our K Series 3 patio. The Labor Day weekend is upon us. Some people are taking four days off. That's really great. That's be and nice. My, I know. No <laughs> kidding. Food stylist Patty Mastraka is joining us with some great little tasty bites for the holiday weekend. Yeah, and it's close, so I'm keeping it all easy. We like we like easy. Yes. Easy button is good. Where yep, do you want to start? Yep. Well, I have a well-rounded menu here. So the first thing I did is I started with a ball of just pre-made pizza dough mm -hmm. that you can find in the deli section next to, you know, prepared pizza sure. or take and pizza. So I just worked in a little bit of Italian blend cheese and some chopped up garlic and some chopped oh. up fresh herbs. And then I rolled it out, not too thin, and then just grilled these. So I made this wonderful little cheese herb flatbread. So you did the whole thing on the grill? Yeah. Oh, that's it's really like cool. It's like 30 seconds on each side. It's so easy. And then you would serve that with? I'm serving it with, well, I have a salad here. Mm -hmm. So I grilled the romaine. It's hearts of romaine that I cut in half, and I grilled them just really lightly. I've actually done this where I put some of the smoke chips in the grill, too, yeah. and it gets this lovely smoke. Do you do a little flavor. olive oil or something on it? I just leave it plain. You do? Yeah, actually, I keep it nice and moist so that it doesn't dry out. And then I just discovered these fantastic vineyard dressings by Marzetti. Mm -hmm. I think there's like five, and they all have a different kind of wine or champagne in. It smells really great. So I'm going to put a little of that on. These are really good. They're really low fat too, which I love, but great ingredients and really tasty. And then these- Probably a good marinade for things definitely. too, Definitely, right? oh Just absolutely. These are called Texas Toast Croutons and they are completely addictive. They're, <laughs> they're, they're large and they're kind of soft, which is nice. They're that not is that hard, nice. hard, crunchy. So. Texas Toast, I haven't thought about that. I know, Texas- That's great for a French toast. Yeah, exactly, but they're, honestly, I would put those in a bowl for a party and put them out as a snack. Oh, There's, they'd be gone. I was, I, seriously, I was eating these a little bit at a time when I was getting ready. It was like, oh, I better put the bag It's like away. goldfish for adults. Exactly, right. This I know. looks amazing. Okay, so that is pulled pork, and all I did was I took, uh, I took pork loin, or you can do pork shoulder, mm -hmm. and an onion chopped up, and then I simmered it with this uh, red fork sauce. It's so good, and it's I just cooked it for like two hours. To I, what I grilled the meat first, okay. so I cut it in chunks, so oh, everything's grilled, and you Got get it. that nice little grilled smoky flavor. You get that smoky flavor. Yeah. So, so this, this is good for how much meat? That's good for like a pound of meat. So a couple. Okay. Yeah. If you're having a big party, Easy. yeah. And you get that in the area, the grocery store where yeah, they have the sauces. Yeah, with sauces and marinades. Yeah, and some of these okay. are sauces, and some of these are marinades. So, and the last one I have is a pesto chicken, and I made a lemon pesto. Uh, from scratch, and I have the recipe on my website. I do food. Okay. But when I make this, it is one of my most requested recipes of all times. Do you serve it hot or cold? I like it better cold, which makes it perfect for entertaining. That so is I good. marinate the, ch I cut the chicken in, you know, smaller pieces to absorb some of the flavor, and then I marinate it in some balsamic, and then I grill it, and then just pack it with pesto oh. and top it with some sun-dried tomatoes and a little dusting of Parmesan cheese and That's it is awesome. so good. How long would that keep in the fridge would you say? It'll keep two to three days. I'm telling you when I have gatherings I make a big batch and it's gone so but it's yeah it is nice to make ahead. Your gatherings must be awesome. I uh, know you should come. Gosh. I know right? Invite me. Uh, I will. <laughs> and the website again is I do food. I do food yeah. Dot com. Yep. All right.